Um, okay, from my perspective, I've got a number of long-term conditions, mostly to do with my eyes, and they're quite unusual conditions, and so as a consequence of that, up until the advent of the internet, there really wasn't that much information available. So for me, I've eventually found information on the internet. I've also found some information in my GP surgeries, but also within the various hospitals that I've visited. And without it, it wouldn't have given me much clue as to where to start, really, because um, I didn't really understand my eye conditions until my 30s and my 40s, and a lot of that information was really the starting point for me. Two things, I think. One, clarity. Just clear language, clear information, very simple. I think the second thing for me really is accessibility, which is one of those things that people often kind of miss. So for me, with my eyes, one of the key things is just being able, just a simple thing like being able to read it, having it in a large font size or a large enough font size, not having fancy backgrounds, not having sort of, you know, fancy colours, lots of images, but kind of text going over them that disappears. That's absolutely critical for me, and the amount of material that comes out that isn't like that is actually quite surprising. <coughs> okay, similar stuff, but I think I'd also say there's a lot of information out there that's very basic, but then doesn't take you to the next level, doesn't tell you where to go next, or you know who might help you. So there's lots of stuff on, you know, in my case, for example, my eye condition, lots of stuff on one of them, virtually nothing on the other. You have to go to a charity to find that. And the stuff that's there on one of them gives you lots of background information, doesn't really talk about a lot of the impacts, doesn't really talk about treatments, um, doesn't actually direct you where else to go. So it doesn't link in with other organisations or with all the services that might be available. Um, and that for me has always been a big weakness really. I've had to go out and find other stuff on top of that. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there about symptoms. There's a lot of stuff there about prognosis. Um, there isn't so much stuff about where do you go next, which hospitals are there, what research is being done, what treatment is available, what surgery is available, what charities support that particular condition. Um, it's, uh, the, the stuff that I've found has generally been, it's been a very good starting point, but beyond that you kind of hit you know, a barrier where you basically end up Googling stuff and you might come, I mean, I, with me, I came across web forums and it was only when I hit with these web forums which were basically people with the same eye conditions where you suddenly thought, ah, okay, that's me and people saying, I tried this, I found that, you know, and it, it, that, that's great but it wasn't really where the information should have been. Mm. You know, so that was like a huge breakthrough for me but it, some of it did start with, you know, basic stuff like NHS leaflets, then thinking, okay, that's not good enough, it's great, but it's not good enough, where do I go next? And you end up just using a search engine, unfortunately.